Recently there was a story that was sent to me by uh, one of my friends online here and uh, it's about the thing of Iowa church files suit against the state for dictating sermons. And um, what they're saying is very interesting and this is very ironic because um, I was listening to one of my older studies on the whole house church thing, the unscriptural church buildings. I did that thing many, many years ago, probably five or six years ago now. And uh, I said that there's going to come a time, come a point in time, when the sodomites are going to be going after the Babel buildings, and uh, that time has arrived. And um, I'm going to play this video, and I'm going to pause it periodically to make some comments. So let's watch this. Des Moines Church of Christ is suing the Iowa Civil Rights Commission because it feels its rights are being threatened. We believe that churches, every church, should be free to both teach its religious beliefs and to use its house of worship in a way that's consistent with those religious beliefs. The church is being represented by the national organization Alliance for Defending Freedom. In the suit, it claims the Iowa Civil Rights Commission is forcing churches to censor its teachings on biblical sexuality and force churches to open its restrooms and showers to members of the opposite sex. Okay. Stop it there for a minute. Um, <clears throat> here's the whole issue. Again, many of my viewers, my loyal viewers, you understand this because I've been preaching about this for a long time. What happened? Back in the 1960s, there was an IRS code called Section 501c3, the tax-exempt status. There are different uh, codes for different states. It might not be 501c3, it might be 501c2a or 501c3b or something like this. But the point is, if you have tax-exempt status under the federal government, this, basically you're going to the state saying, do we have your permission to give our people um, the ability to write off their giving, their tithes and offerings on their taxes, on their income taxes? And the government says, yes, you do. Therefore, since we've given you our permission, now you don't have to pay property tax and a couple of other things. Oh, but by the way, the federal government says to the church, they say, uh, we don't want you to talk about who to vote for. You're not allowed to talk about political elections or do anything uh, that would change public policy and things. Why? It's a public building. All right. You are going on record as saying this church is not the property of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ is not the head of this church building. It is the federal government. If Jesus came to you and physically appeared, manifested himself to a 501c3 church pastor and said, I want you to talk about this election thing of, I don't want you to vote for Hillary. I want you to vote for Donald Trump. That pastor would have to say to the Lord, of course, this isn't going to happen, you know, but I'm making a point here. That pastor would have to say to the Lord, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jesus. I'm not permitted to. And Jesus says, well, yeah, but I told you to. Yeah, but you see, I'm 51 c 3 I'm a creature of the state. I'm not allowed to talk, tell people who to vote for. And how many of you have heard that going to different churches? I can't tell you who to vote for this election. I can't tell you who to vote for. Or if you're at a marriage ceremony at one of these church buildings, they say, you know, do you, Bill, take Mary to be your awfully wedded wife, you know? joking um and she says and he says yes and and i do and do you marry take bill to be your you know awfully wedded husband yes i do you know and he says and now by the power pronounced by the state of whatever or by now by the power invested in me by the state of whatever i now pronounce you man and wife they're state-run corporations that's what they are so Years and years ago, these church buildings, these crooked lawyers, a lot of the crooked lawyers that claim to be Christians and stuff like this, they, they went and they got these churches, which you shouldn't even have church buildings. That's a whole other issue, which we're talking about here is, you know, in the next uh, study, big sermon coming up. But what happened is they went public. They said, we have a public building. Everybody's welcome. Again, show me this in the New Testament. It's nowhere in Scripture. Nowhere in Scripture was were they ever told to build a building called a church and invite lost people in to get them saved. That is completely far into the pages of Scripture. But they did this, got the government's permission for the whole tax-exempt thing, and now the government comes along and says, hey, a law got passed, federal law got passed, whereby perverts, 
transgendered perverts can use whatever bathroom they want. And now these church buildings are going, you can't do that. You can't do that. That's against our beliefs. That's against our faith. It doesn't matter. You went to the government for permission to exist. Now the government will tell you what to do. So they come, oh, this is infringing on their rights. No, it's not. Right? You gave up your rights. I mean, if I went to a criminal and I said, um, I'd like to get a piece of paper from you saying that uh, you're, you're not going to rob my home or that I have the right to have a home or something like this. And he goes, oh, sure, here. I'll write out this piece of paper for you. There you go. Here's your permit or your license. And then he comes and does whatever he wants in my home. I say, what are you doing? Well, you know, you got this license from me. I mean, it's, it's just, it's weird. But let's continue with the video. Lawyers for the church claim anything the church does should fall under a bona fide religious purpose. <clears throat> Lawyers for the church say that anything the church does, anything that they do, should fall under the realm of bona fide religious purposes. But see, here's the funny thing about this. We're going to see this in a little bit here. A defender of the sodomite, them, you know, that, that system there, this woman's going to say, we don't have any problem with people having their beliefs and whatever else as long as it's a bona fide religious purpose. In other words, if you can find it in Scripture. But you see, public buildings that are under government authority, secular government authority, have no basis in Scripture. So you have no leg to stand on. You can't say, this violates my rights as a Christian, because any intelligent sodomite could come out and say, oh, your rights as a Christian, your beliefs as a Christian. Uh, where is that in Scripture? Isn't that a weird situation where you have professing Christians departing from Scripture and yet wicked sodomites can come along and say, Where's, where are these beliefs of yours? Where are these teachings of yours at in the Bible? And the idolatry of it all. So many people, you can't take my church building from me. You should, you should be in church, Brian. You're, not, you're wrong for not being in church. You've got to get your butt into a local church and stuff like that. Don't take my church building from me. Idolatry is what that is. Witchcraft and idolatry. Witchcraft is as the sin of rebellion. You're in rebellion against God's word if you are in a building and you're calling it a church. Let's keep going. Making it exempt. But according again to this unelected commission in the state of Iowa, if a church holds a worship service open to the public, according to the commission, that's not a bona fide religious purpose. Again, it's just an unconstitutional, unprecedented intrusion of the state into the church. Unconstitutional, unapproved intrusion of the state into the church. The church went to the state. That's They went there for 501c3. And now they're crying foul because the government's telling them what to do. It's a total stinking hypocrisy. I know that there was a guy, uh, James Melton, down south, a Baptist, you know, preacher, and he was like saying, you know, that anybody that speaks against 501c3 church buildings is anti-government. Uh, well, uh, let me point out the fact that the First Amendment in the Constitution says, Congress shall make no law regarding the establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. Okay, um, people that go for 501c3, let I me mean, think about that. Congress is not supposed to make any laws regarding the establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. Free exercise. In other words, you get to say whatever you want. And yet, the church buildings went to the federal government and begged, please, can we have a law? Can you put a law down on us and stamp it on us and say, take away our free speech so that we can get a little bit of money back on our tax return? And now they're complaining because the government's coming along and saying, hey, you're not allowed to do this violation of our rights you gave them up years and years ago but now we're going to hear from the uh sodomite defender but let, listen to what this woman says but not everyone agrees so we were really surprised that this church is suing the iowa civil rights commission just for doing its job we've had these protections since 2007 and uh yeah we're, we're a little concerned here in iowa we try to be reasonable, and this doesn't feel reasonable at all. One Iowa, the state's leading LGBT organization, says the law is the law. When the church is involved in a bona fide religious activity, um, they can do what they need to do. They can believe whatever they want, 
but when they offer any kind of public accommodation, uh, they can't break the law. Now, of course, you know, I understand the fact that it's a slippery slope, and the sodomites right now are saying, you know, when you're involved in a bona fide religious practice or whatever, something that lines up with scripture, you can do whatever you want, you can believe whatever you want. Well, eventually that, that'll go away too, you know, they'll be executing Christians, of course. You know, that's how it's always gone throughout history. But the point is, what they're saying right there, what that woman said right there is absolutely correct. When you are doing things according to the New Testament, you're not going to be open to the public. But when you say, we are now open to the public, you are now opening yourself up to all the laws of the federal government because you're under their authority. But, you know, these churches, oh, they're going to get lawyers and they're going to, they're going to fight this, this wicked legislation and everything else. Or you could actually just follow the New Testament Get out of the Babel building, leave these pagan buildings behind and just let the lost people have them and say, hey, we're going to go back to the scriptures. The Bible alone is our authority in all matters of faith and practice. Isn't that something? And uh, I'm going to show another article here. A uh, uh, brother sent this to me too. I thought this was kind of funny. Uh, the church buildings... Uh, actually are, you know, I did another video where they're using steeples of these pagan buildings, these phallic steeples, um, pagan architecture. They're using them for cell phone towers, but it doesn't end there. You see, they also want to use them for drone charging stations. Yeah, I'm going to show you the article here, we'll provide the link down in the description box to it and everything else. But uh, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna Amazon Prime. They got these little drone things that they want to deliver people's stuff with. Like that's actually gonna work. I mean, stupid idea. You know, anybody that's ever used GPS knows that the things get you lost a lot. You know, I've had a GPS. I had a GPS in the in the past. Two different GPSs, and and I uh, couldn't stand either one of them. Got rid of them. And um, absurd. It got me lost a number of times. So you're going to get some little drone that's going to fly to people's homes and stuff like this with GPS. Uh, yeah, sure. But, you know, they want to use the steeples. So you're going to have church buildings as cell phone towers microwaving their people. And then also drones flying to the thing to be recharged. <laughs> it's just like, how much worse can this get? Only time will tell. But here's the article. I'll show it. 